Hello everybody, this is Nia Boaz Fada here. How are you doing in these corona ridden days? Transformative indeed it is and we've just touched the tip of the iceberg. And that made me recall how much we spoke, astrologers spoke about the ingress of Uranus into Taurus a while back. Uranus spent seven years in a sign when it, when it ingressed into the sign of Taurus, we spoke about how different the world of um, salary, work, occupation, and earning money and career is going to be like in seven years well, not so much career but the way we earn money and value in our life career is more capricorn thing. and here we are facing circumstances that are turning the most liberal capitalist presidents into something noam chomsky or john lennon would apt for sending a check to every american citizen could you imagine a free salary from the government suddenly far-fetched ideas like the fact that we're supposed to live here freely and happily and enjoy our breaths as these go on until they cease without being anybody's slave are coming up due to the fact that our whole conception was built upon this game. If you go out and work, you'll be able to earn money for your keep, for your sustenance. And suddenly, if you can't work, would that mean that you're supposed to die? Or is that a concept, a paradigm that is not a part of who we are as a society as a civilization anymore suddenly these question marks are being raised and minds are being activated and things start changing much faster quickened uranian aquarian quickening as it is said and that quickening would progress mankind and civilization faster than you or me could ever. The fact that we're dealing with this crisis right now is going to heighten on our ladder of priorities, codependence, as well as autonomy and independence, self-assurance and mutual assurance. community values and the need for love <clears throat> and support to one another the understandings that we're all in this together whether we like it or not that this is a global consciousness rising and indeed these are the things that are going to provide us with that bond with that glue with that adhesive that would stick this consciousness, this global consciousness together later on. And so many people are afraid of a global governance. It's funny to me as if you would like to have New York State and Philadelphia, two different nations, under a different flag, under a different currency, under a different army, under a different belief system and so on and so forth not understanding that they're so much the same that there's no need for borders that everything influences everything else and that we are all connected so that consciousness is evolving and we we'll need to take our part our self-responsibility our personal responsibility in building a new world order a new world order 
Novo ordo socolero. In our image. In which personal freedoms are given. In which the power is to the people. And here is where I start talking about the first really serious transit of this week which is Saturn ingressing into Aquarius <coughs> into Aquarius where is my glass of chamomile and fennel tea hmm so Saturn is ingressing into the sign of Aquarius this Sunday. We're going to get a glimpse of how it is in Aquarius. It's going to retrograde back into Capricorn and then go back into Aquarius and stay there till about <coughs> almost two years from today, <coughs> I think. Not sure about the dates, but about two years. And in these two years, don't expect structure to be stable. No, 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 no. Don't expect the system of governance to be stable. Don't expect rules and uh, the, the rule of law to be stable. And rulership in general, you know, like courts, the, the uh, legal system, as well as the way we judge ourselves and we judge others and we judge hierarchy and we judge authority. All of these concepts are going towards rapid change. Don't look for stability. Look for an upgrade. Look for the new laws, the upgraded laws, the new system. This is the time in which we're taking the operating system that's in the base that runs the structure, the skeleton of everything that everything is based upon, all our civilizations, and we upgrade it. This is the time that Saturn goes from the old, hindsight looking, relying on experience, conservative, patriarchal values to more advanced far-reaching, experimental, futuristic solutions. New ways to find solutions to known problems. And we would see new ideas regarding systems and structures of society and governments. And work, career, <coughs> you know. So that only heightens that transmutation, that change that I was talking about before. Again, we can see a Uranian influence, Aquarian influence. Not only do the way that we earn money and value rapidly changes when Uranus is in Taurus, now Saturn is entering Aquarius. So our careers evolve and change. The way the work market is oriented, is changing, and becomes much more advanced, futuristic, communal. Everybody's working from home, using the internet. Much more isolation and autonomy, yet we work together from afar to progress a common idea, a common goal. Very Aquarius, very Uranus. So that was the first ingress I wanted to talk about. <clears throat> but on the 22nd, we have Mercury, the planet of communication and commerce, sextiling Uranus, really helping us to put in new ideas, new thoughts, to go outside the box in order to gain new value. That's a good thing. That's a good couple of days. The next day on the 23rd, Venus is sextiling Neptune. That's a very imaginative, a very creative, a very artistic, a very beautiful kind of sextile that can really let us enjoy even nature and tranquility and a good cup of tea and, you know, just being in that zone. Um, Mercury is also sextiling um, 
No, I'm sorry. I was talking about that already. Mars is conjunct Pluto exactly on the 23rd. And that's something I talked about in the last video. I've been talking about for a while. I'll talk about it now as well. We have a stellium that's Mars, Saturn, Pluto, and Jupiter all together in the sky. That's the four big ones. There's more. And, and we can feel the energy and it's intense and frustrating and transformative and we don't know what to do with it and it would be a great idea to actually channel it to changing your life to re imagining how it is you would like yourself and society to be and create a brave new world a new world order in your personal life and collective life this is a time to reshape this is a time to take action that is transformative. And don't be too obsessive about it. And don't be too intense about it. And lower the drama as much as you can. Because if you don't, that energy, if it's not led into something positive, like a workout or you know, taking care of things you never took off or you didn't take care about for a long time or sex or whatever it is, you know, it could go out as aggression and drama in your life because you feel pinned up you don't even have to be quarantined at home to feel pinned up if we weren't having this corona thing i would tell you go outside and shout and run and you know let that energy loose i would say maybe take a drink or a puff at home and just chill out but that would not be very therapeutic and that would not be very spiritual of me so i'm not saying that i'm saying meditate do a ceremony be with your well be with your kids if it calms you down cook something nice garden clean if it does it to you paint listen to music but enjoy whatever it is you're doing enjoy because no one has a guarantee how many breaths we have left right and that's the reprioritizing we all understand right now and that's going to give us an amazing gift and this world is going to become a much better world because of the coronavirus and we're all going to become much more responsible for ourselves and for each other because of this tragedy and if i really want to have black humor i think the prices for italian vacations this summer are going to be bottom rock bottom so of course this is not a joke if there be any flights at all let's hope that there will be let's be optimistic Monday the 23rd is also an amazing time. If you wake up before sunrise, go watch Mercury in its greatest eastern elongation. <coughs> and Venus at the greatest western elongation, if I'm not mistaken. So before sunrise, we could see Mercury um, shining bright in the east. And just after sunset, we could see Venus shining bright in the west. And it's a beautiful time to watch the sky. And there's going to be a new moon on the 24th. So there's not going to be hardly any light in the sky. And it's a great time to see the constellations. It's a great time to see those planets. This new moon coming in in the 4th degree of Aries. This new moon at the fourth degree of Aries is conjunct Chiron and squaring the nodes. If there's a time that we'll need to start tending to our wounds, and we need to straighten our gaze to our most hurtful places, to where we are wounded, to a more sensitive spot, to the pus and filth that were created by the neglect of that place.
this new moon this new moon conjuncts Chiron exactly and squares the nodes if there is a time that we need to straighten our gaze into our wounds and actually be brave enough to tend to them and heal them it's now if there is a time that we need to understand that if we would not address these wounds we would not shine it's now and Georgia concurs from her dream state on the bed this is a time that new energies are imprinted for the next lunar cycle so through the 23rd 24th watch what's going through you because it would permeate permeate through the next lunar cycle of 29 and a half days this is a time to be more sensitive and loving towards yourselves and others and heal more than everything allow yourselves and people around you time for healing <clears throat> 26th so 25th under that influence as well 26th um, could be a bit combative and conformant and confront confrontational so just lower the intensity and whatever you're asking from people and calm down enhance your calm John Sparkin as if someone read the Militian Man by Philip K. Dick also the film um, Friday the 27th has a much more brighter energy a faster energy an energy that we could just enjoy this weekend you know Saturday there's another thing joining this in the sky Venus the planet of satisfaction and relationship and value trines Jupiter the great benefic so it's a time that is considered lucky and enjoyable and the moon is going to be in Taurus throughout Friday and Saturday the sky is painted green with good aspects really enjoy give homage give thanks to the fact that we are alive that we are here breathing spreading light take your offices and i mean it in the metaphoric sense take your places take your roles ordain yourself to be the light you want to be in your life for yourself and for others this is the time to change this is the time to shape yourself and you to transform and yes you're in the house light some candles light some incense make good food drink some wine don't forget warmth and laughter because these are the greatest cures for fear and anxiety and indeed they could keep you healthy as well biologically so if you want to have a consultation with me I would love that through the internet of course or phone if you want to study with me the same way I would love that all the details are at the end of the slide you can contact me and we'll talk about how to make it possible for you at the time like this and thank you for watching this and spreading this around may we all be healthy and live long and prosper